Do you guys do you guys remember when Apple product launches used to be the biggest deal in the world? It used to be like huge, like the event of the year kind of thing. Nowadays, it's like it, you know, it's like the, this is the top spot, the second spot, and now it's in the third spot. I suspect in the coming years it's going to be down here, and then eventually just not even a part of this. Like, I, I saw the lineup; it was like nothing. It was like the iPhone SE two or something, something irrelevant. But here's some interesting, like, anyways, interesting actual news. We have Coca-Cola, Pepsi, McDonald's, Starbucks suspending business in Russia. And today, uh, the US and the UK cut oil imports from Russia. But it's not a large amount. It's like 10% and 3% respectively. So I think the US takes in like 10% or less than 10 and uh, the UK takes in smaller than that. Like, that's a pretty trivial amount. So that's not going to be a huge impact. But I'm excited to see what happens. I know today Zelensky, um, our prime minister, said uh, of uh, he said that he is willing. Uh, is it, is it... No, this is not accurate. What? What is this? What? I I heard I I read that he said that he will. Oh no, dude. Well, I read that he, he would be willing to give up Crimea and the Donbass region in exchange for peace, which is a great idea in my humble opinion, because you can avoid war and uh, there we go. We're in a good place. But this is very recent. I, I heard this like five hours ago. So maybe this is not the case because the alternative, in my opinion, seems like Russia is just going to crush Ukraine, though these sanctions are hitting. I mean, like they're really working on it. It's become more than sanctions now, right? It's It's turning into like it's like it's it's essentially cancel culture on russia and this is maybe the level it should be working on it's when countries do re like wild things like this is when you should have these kind of cancel culture like things not on personal individuals this is what i read earlier and i guess that's no longer the case i read read it on like france 24 or something france 24 is that what it was uh wow what are they covering Except no, dude. I don't want your notifications. Interesting. So I did read that, and so I guess that's not the case anymore, which is interesting. 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 Okay. Um. Yeah. So we will. Interesting. All right. Yeah. See, look, this this kind of stuff, by the way, is is whack. I don't I don't think it's smart. Um, like you should keep communications open regardless. This the French dude's the only guy that's willing to keep communications open. Not smart. I don't think it's smart. You should keep all communication lines open. Though Putin's really funny in this thirty foot desk and whatnot. Um, S P five hundred still crashing. Uh, and we're on the weekly, so like we're coming down on the weekly, and this I believe is the 100 week, so we're approaching the 100 week, and Bitcoin is above the 100 week, and we've had a little bit of a bump here, but I don't think it's going to sustain, right? I think we're below, and this is just a matter of time before we actually, sorry, uh, before we get down to the 200, and check this out, and what I want to show you is, we've seen this so many times, but look at this. We close below the 200 and we do all sorts of things below and we try really to break out and stay above, but we don't. We come back down, hit the 200 every time. Once we break below the 50 and close, we hit the 200. It's just, it's how it is, right? We've closed here below the 200, uh, below the 50. We try other things, but we inevitably make it down to the 200. So I'm, I'm be now it's patience, essentially. I'm not going to dollar, well, you know, I wouldn't mind dollar cost. I guess I could do something trivial like five, 100 bucks a day is trivial enough that it wouldn't affect me i could go on like that for for a year or something would not it wouldn't make a big dent what is that 100 dollars a day is, oh it's thirty six thousand bucks yeah totally we could do that that's like one bitcoin um for lols i guess but you know nothing more than that um but yeah so i i think my my thesis is still that bitcoin comes down Passes the 100 and then goes down to this. Now, you know what's really exciting today is uh, crypto regulations are kicking in. 
right? Uh, and this is, uh, yeah, it's not a good thing right now. What This is probably going to be one of the catalysts that um, bring down um, Bitcoin even lower. Uh, this is almost certainly going to be one of the catalysts. It's really warm in here. Uh, because it's gonna, it's it's most certain. There was a huge amount of cloud there. I wonder if the sun's gonna go away. Uh, it's going to make it more difficult for people uh, it, that hold Bitcoin right now. It's gonna be something that's not really great. And so, like Clinton, Hillary is the problem here. She's the one that's gonna be a pain. She she's probably gonna make them very tough, right? These crypto regulations, because she understands, and it's smart of her, understands that this is actually against the government, essentially, right? We don't want. Uh, we, we don't want to be controlled, long story short. So it's it's very interesting. I think crypto regulations are the thing that's going to bring it down further. So my guess is crypto regulations will will uh, will take Bitcoin down to maybe the 100. And then we'll need some other price action to take it down to the 200. I don't know what it is. Um, but I, I don't see positive outlook here, obviously. And I've said this so many times. I don't see positive outlook. But I think that the headline today is that crypto regulations are coming soon. Right? Things have kind of transpired. I think that the bump in the, the the stocks today are because of what um, what he said, right? What what uh, Zelensky said, like earlier in the day, where he was like, "And the markets are closed now," but he was like, "Hey, listen, yeah, we'll we're willing to give up." And so that may have been propaganda of some kind. I don't know, but it's very interesting. We'll have to look into that. Aside from that, guys, I don't really have much else to say. Um, this is a minor upgrade in the update in the market. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.